Welcome back into the GSMC Sports Podcast as we continue to talk about young quarterbacks that are under a lot of fire. Drake May of the New England Patriots has already been getting tossed into some conversations about, I don't know if I've heard the word bust yet, but it seems like a lot of you know media members are circling towards that, of course, growing up in Massachusetts here. I see a lot of the local beat reporters talking about just how surprised they are that Drake May is as far behind as he is than to Jacoby Brissett and that some of the concerns that Bill Belichick had specifically in accordance to his footwork and such that Drake May does look very raw at this point and that it doesn't seem likely that he is even going to have a chance to win the starting job in to start off the season. And I never expected Drake May, even if he was, I mean, if he was incredible, it was going to be impossible to for the Patriots to sit him. But I always assumed that they were going to err a little bit more on the cautious side with Drake May anyways. And for whatever it's worth as well, I do think that Jacoby Brissett is a very solid backup quarterback that I've made this argument before. I think that he has been the best quarterback on his roster for at least the past two, I would say the past two seasons where this past year we saw Washington actually had a slightly better chance when they started him as opposed to Sam Howell, at least in my opinion. And I I don't mind Howell by any means, but some of the uh, mistakes were definitely glaring with him. But the offense looked slightly more functional with Brissett behind behind center and then in 2022 granted it was a season in which Deshaun Watson was returning from his suspension and hadn't played football in over a year and a half or so that I wouldn't expect him to look all too sharp but in that 2022 season from what we saw Jacoby Brissett gave the Browns a better chance to win football games and he is not some you know elite top end quarterback by any means but think he can absolutely get the job done for you and that's kind of what I assumed the expectation was going to be headed into the season for the Patriots where they are you know at the bottom of the barrel in terms of overall talent roster talent and I think that you know it makes sense that Jacoby Brissett is significantly more ready for this job than Drake May is. Jacoby Brissett, like, he's 31 years old. He's headed into his age 32 season. I am not surprised by any means that Drake May, someone who is 22 years old, something like that, that he is not extremely sharp coming out of the gates in training camp. He's 21 right now. He turns 22 in August. There is more than enough time for him to be able to round out into the draft prospect that everybody was sort of on board that Drake May was going to need some development before being able to fully shine as, you know, a top end player. Again, just 21 years old and I, you know, uh, not to call out by any means because I do greatly respect Colin Cowherd as, you know, in uh, for what he does. But I saw the clip that he was talking about yesterday and the idea that, well, because the offensive line isn't good and the receivers aren't good and the running back depth isn't good, that Joe Milton is going to win the, st- the job over Drake May. Neither one of them are going to be the starter this season. It's going to be Jacoby Brissett, the one who has eight plus years of NFL experience at this point. Um, eight years, I think, specific- uh, exactly. So the idea that also just because Joe Milton is taller and a little bit more of a baseline athlete, everybody knew Joe Milton was athletic at Tennessee. That was his whole thing of, you know, watch this dude rip a ball 80 yards downfield on a, on a dot. But the consistency with accuracy is 
just not there yet. And I, of course, have a lot of Patriots fans in my life that are starting to buy into the Joe Milton hype train. And I think it would be absolutely electric if Joe Milton does emerge as a starting caliber guy. But I think we are... Joe Milton was a lock to be a preseason darling, a training camp darling, where he makes some really impressive throws, he shows off his arm talent, and starts to, you know, get the buzz building up a little bit, but ultimately, you know, we, I think that if you watched him at Tennessee, you saw that the consistency from him in terms of being able to actually have the accuracy to keep up with NFL talent just don't think it's there now again rooting for him because he is such a fun player to watch whether it's the Patriots or anyone else that if you can put all of that athletic talent together that you know I think that that's that's a quarterback that anybody really would want to watch but I just I think it's so unfair to you know already start writing off a 21 year old quarterback that hasn't even taken a snap in preseason yet. I think we're getting way too ahead of ourselves. And I sort of alluded to it earlier in the show when I think that we're just at this point where football is in the air. You can smell it right around the corner. And we just sort of latch on to every sort of report or storyline that we hear. Like these people that are making claims about Drake May... A lot of them haven't even actually gotten to see him practice yet. And even if it is bad, it's kind of like, who cares? I'm not ready to, I don't know. Everybody's just always so ready to move off of, you know, the the new thing and write somebody off. O- obviously, more times than not, you see it click sooner rather than later. But to just have some preseason reps that don't go your way and not even preseason, just training camps internally not go your way for a quarterback that we knew was going to be a little bit of a project. You're just, I'm not sure why you're, you know, really analyzing like this. You understood that's what the background was. How could you be surprised by what we're hearing so far? And again, I think part of it probably somewhat has to do with the fact that Jacoby Brissett doesn't really get all that much respect, I feel like, generally from the NFL. And I think I definitely he is going to be a bottom half of the league starter when he comes in, and he's going to have a very rough situation around him in New England. But I think he's fine. I think he's going to pretty obviously give you the best chance to win by just not making the rookie mistakes and young player mistakes you could say like we saw from Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi in New England last year that he's just going to provide a little bit more of veteran leadership and that under this new regime you know you just sort of have to have uh, a little bit of faith and we've seen that with with Houston last year, obviously the quarterback talent as a whole much higher in Houston, but I could also equate it a little bit to Vegas where Antonio Pierce was able to just instill confidence in what they had and they had really inconsistent quarterback play. I think Jacoby Brissett can give you a a good enough job to be in competition as long as the defense is totally intact there in New England and obviously it's been a little bit messy there in terms of the developments of their defense over the past week or so finding out about Christian Moore being di- Christian Barmore being diagnosed with blood clots potentially putting his season in jeopardy the Matt Judon situation even though it sounds like Judon and Gerard Mayo had a positive conversation and things are headed back towards the right direction You know, we'll have to see there, and that defense as a whole has the potential to be, I would say, a top 10 unit, but we're going to have to see them actually all available for them to, you know, even begin that dialogue, really. But let me know what you think in the comments section, because ultimately, at the end of the day, if you didn't like Drake May coming into this year's draft, you're pointing at those reports and saying, see, I told you so, but... I don't think that it necessarily proves anything either way. So to me, honestly, it's kind of 
it should be a nothing story. It should be that Drake May is struggling and that's sort of it. I think people are just making it out to be a bigger thing than than it should be. And also, maybe people were just anticipating Drake May to be the starter. I never thought that was going to be the case. But again, let me know in the comments section how you feel. But I did just mention Antonio Pierce and the Raiders. We're going to be diving into their upcoming season where we continue on the previews for all 32 teams. Today we do have the Raiders, so we will be getting into that, whether or not you believe Antonio Pierce can emerge as a, a, a real, you know, significant head coach moving forward, where things stand in terms of the quarterback battlefront, and more. So stick with us, and we will be right back after this quick break. <laughs> 